Welcome back. You have now time traveled 15 seconds into the future. This is part two of the September 23rd lecture. Um, interviewing. We're going to talk about today what our authors call semi-structured elite interviewing. Okay, The stuff you do for large N projects we'll talk about later. All right. Um, so immediately I have basically tipped my hand that this is a small N research method. Um, this is a Fano style research method. This is a qualitative research method. Um, so we do this for very f in situations that you might think that Fenno might suggest you do his type of research because Fenno was actually doing a ton of elite interviewing in the section that you re read. Okay. Uh, so when do we do it? We do it when we want new ideas on something. Uh, we also do it when this is when this is the best thing that we can do. There may not be other data available, so we go talk to people who may know something. Um, think about local government stuff. A lot of the things that we care about in local government, in local politics, um, or in local community groups, um, there's not going to be a ton of data on. So we go and talk to the leaders of those organizations. Um, three, there are times when numbers can't get at the phenomenon. This is the vibe reason, right? So numbers can't really tell us about group interactions. Like how does a congress congressional group interact? How does a community group um, organize? Like what are the interpersonal dynamics within that um, community group? Um, until you get there and see it, and talk to people about it, you can't know it. It's a Fenno thing. Um, four, and maybe most importantly, is you do this when you need expertise. Okay? Um, let's talk for a second about what expertise is. Now, let's talk about what elites are, because this is elite interviewing, right? Um, elites obviously can be Congress people, can be diplomats, can be CEOs, all right? But those aren't the only kinds of elites, all right? An elite is anyone with a inside, deep knowledge of the subject that you care about. You guys are actually in the process of becoming elites on what it is to be in one of my methods classes. You've now been here with, with me for about, I don't know, what, six weeks or so? Um, You've been here each day. You've seen me teach each day. You've seen what's on my syllabus. You've had to read what's on my syllabus. You're getting a broad, deep, nuanced understanding of how I teach, my teaching methodology, what I think is important in research design, what I think is important in all the individual topics we considered. If somebody wants to know about Brian Shelley Methods course, an elite interview with one of you would be completely appropriate, right? I use that example to prove, like, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know, maybe, like, I think you guys are elite, right? Um, but I'm a yoga teacher. I think everybody's elite. I would be considered an elite when it comes to the practice of yoga. And I'm not some grand yoga master that um, um, lives in India and, and keeps all the yogic, uh, I'll call them commandments, um, I'm just a guy in Virginia who does a, who does a daily yoga practice, right? Um, but I've been doing it long enough that I would probably have some fairly deep, broad understanding of what the yoga practice means to me, at least. So somebody could treat that as an elite. An elite is not what we normally think about it in, when we're thinking about society and stuff like that. Everyone is an elite about something because everyone has a deep, broad understanding of something. And if you want to measure the concept that they're an expert in, it's completely appropriate to go talk to them and treat them as elites. All right? How do you do it? The number one thing to remember is that all you're trying to do is have the best possible conversation with this elite that you can. All right? You just want to get them to talk to you in a very conversational, natural manner about what it is that they do, um, what they're an expert in, all right? Honestly, I think the more informal it seems to the person that you're interviewing, the better, because then you relax, right? 
um, then you um, 